So you have two direct direct response companies that affiliate manager says, hey, you promote my product to yours. I'll promote my product to my email list. We each take a little commission. We all make money, right? Mm -hmm. The problem with that model is it's one time. They send hit email once. They On average, they send once a month. So I get revenue once a month. So, and if you're in an autoresponder series, see, this is the smart way to do it. I get my offer in an autoresponder series where I teach my affiliate managers to get their offers in autoresponder series. You get sales every single day. And mm -hmm. say, I'm, say, Tyler, I'm in your autoresponder series and you spent 200K that month in Facebook ads, right? Promoting your offer. Guess what? I leverage that 200K without spending a penny. Mm -hmm. Because I'm- And in your you only pay a commission when exactly. the sale's generated. Exactly. Um, so there's very little risk, almost no risk. Um, and my old point is I want to pay you as much as possible. Why? The more money you make on my offer, the more likely it is to stay in the autoresponder, move up closer to day one in the autoresponder, or you're going to promote it more often. Because that's actually goal, a good little thing you dropped right there too. The yeah. the further, like the closer to the front that you are in someone's mm -hmm. autoresponder, the more generally the sales you're going to receive. Yep. And I always keep an, a track on stats because I want them to know I'm, I'm not going to let you realize how much money you're making. I'm going to tell you how much money you're making with my offer mm -hmm. because I'm going to try to get from day eight to day seven from days, you know, all the way. And I want to build an email list. I'm not, I don't actually care about making money on the front end. Um, mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not like an Agora that can go 70% of break even on the front end and, you know, be negative. Um, I don't like to do that. I like to at least break even, but I don't need to make a profit on my front end. Mm -hmm. I just need to break even. And I'd rather pay you all that money. The person that's sending or promoting my offer, because again, the more money it makes, the more you're going to promote it. And all of a sudden that feeds my email list. Totally. The bigger, the better the email list. Once you have an email list, that's essentially a printing press, right? For, <laughs> it's just, you take care of it, you foster it and you grow it and you just love it. Yeah. It keeps making money. No, an email yeah. list is a great thing. I think it saved my butt over the years many times just because, you know, maybe campaigns go up and down, but just the reoccurring revenue generate the email list. Mm -hmm. As long as you're constantly adding new subscribers to that list, has been mm -hmm. just such a consistent thing for us, cash flow yeah. wise. Yeah. yeah, and then it's how do you monetize that email list, Max? Right. Uh, um, totally. I really hate when people say, "Oh, I only promote my products, and I never promote third party offers because I don't want to ruin the reputation of the list." Blah blah blah. I'm like, you're not making you're money. Money on the like, yeah, you're leaving money. You're on leaving the table. a shit ton of money. Like, why do you? Yeah. Why do you? have an email list if you only want to promote your three offers on there. Like that makes totally. no sense. And also by promoting other offers, as long as you make high quality offers that match your customers' demographics, they're not going to be pissed off. They're going to mm -hmm. like it because mm -hmm. we're all customers of habit, right? Creatures of habit. So if we buy one health supplement for $29, we're probably going to buy other health supplements and other things within that category that that demographic likes for around that same price point. So why totally. not make money, you know? And I also tell people to email the list more often. Yeah. 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 I think a lot of people get nervous on how often they can email their list. Like I've had people come to me and they're like, you think once every two weeks is too much. And I'm like, man, we've had some email lists we've mailed two to three times a day at times. Oh, a hundred percent. So it's like, you can definitely do it, especially when there's big things going on like Black Friday or mm -hmm. Cyber Monday, yeah. you know, Christmas events, stuff like that, or special promotions. But there's just some email lists in general, like they will, they just love engaging with your email so much. It's like a disservice to them if you don't send them enough.